So all because some idiot kid got tetanus on our janky ass playground, my school made some kind of deal with the Mars company that if we sold enough chocolate, they would build us a new playground. I don't really know the specifics. I was 11. All I know is I was pulled out of English class, which looking back was a bad decision on their part, and told I was the perfect person to be in the mascot costume for the prep rally. And I would be paid in getting out of class and also one whole chocolate bar. I agreed because not only was I a goody two-shoes who didn't want to disappoint a teacher, but also I'm a fatty who didn't want to disappoint chocolate. So I am unceremoniously shoved into a nylon M&M costume that is then pumped with air. And this costume is made for an adult, so I can't properly see, but it's okay. I am filled with the confidence of Narcissus, who I hadn't even learned about yet. So the storage room door busts open and I run out and I think to myself, what's cooler than a cartwheel? Which was a bad decision for two reasons. A, it was physically impossible to do a cartwheel while wearing that costume. And B, I didn't even know how to do a cartwheel. So all anybody saw was just the M&M come out and fall directly on their face. My nose is now slightly bleeding, but it's okay. Now I have already proven to myself that the arm span is not what I want it to be. So I am whipping candy full force into the crowd. There's screams. I can't tell if they're from terror or joy. Eventually I run out of candy and I go up and I stand by the principal like a big circular idiot. Now, here's the problem. I can't stand still. So I just start bouncing my leg. So the entire M&M is shaking like a Polaroid picture, like the hit song Hey Ya by Outkast, which had just recently been invented. And this apparently is distracting. So one of the teachers pulls me to the side saying, sit down. But the problem with this costume is the fan is directly at my butt. I cannot sit down in fear of blending my own ass. When the presentation is finally over, I'm told to go stand by the door and high five people as they leave because it was the early 2000s and fist bumps hadn't been invented yet. And children are brutal. They are winding up like my arm is one of them punching machines and they are drunken frat boys ready to show off how strong they are. I am getting decimated. My arm is constantly snapping backwards so much that I think I get tennis elbow, which I don't even know is a real condition or not. I'm 11. Anyway, I get told to go take off the costume and grab one candy from the boxes inside the storage closet. So I emerged from my M&M cocoon like a vengeful butterfly. I left about 20 pounds heavier because I stuffed my pants into my socks and used them like giant pockets to smuggle chocolate out. And I know what you're thinking. That doesn't seem that bad. You just got a bloody nose you caused yourself and children punched your arm. No. The real ass kick of this situation is they didn't even finish that fucking playground until I was in junior high school and wasn't allowed to go play on it anymore. The fist bump or pound in European history can be traced to boxers instructed to touch gloves at the start of a contest. Likewise, dart players fist bump that are clutching pointed mini arrows. Well, fucking, I would hope so. (laughs) Okay, maybe fist bumps had been invented.